So you want to do flooring and you have no idea what you're doing. Well, you've come to the right place because neither do I. Welcome to Kenny's Kind of Construction where we try to do things DIY but we have no idea what we're doing. Um, on today's project, we're doing vinyl plank flooring in this bedroom. I've already started. I got to a point where I have to cut around an air vent and it's taking this project way longer than it should. So, I want to show you guys how to cut around certain things and also some tips I've learned along the way. So, let's get started. So, previous year there was a carpet. Everything was carpeted in here. We pulled the carpet out and I just threw everything out the window. But whoever was in here before completely just ruined the hardwood and there's like like paint marks like there's like footprints from the paint that they when they were painting the walls it's really weird but whatever so this was the easier route I would have kept the hardwood but it would have required more work so we went with the final planking I think this looks much nicer in my opinion. And I'm working backwards right now because of the air vent. I wanted to kind of get to where I need to be. You need about a quarter inch clearance from the wall and that's what they give these little spacers for in the, in the kit. They're, you know, the, you tape, I just tape, you just put it up against the wall, you tape it, um, and you butt it up against here. So, as we butt it up, I'll show you in, the, there's like a, not really a description, but I'll show you the way I did it. I have a pretty symmetrical room. It's a 10 by nine. It's very small. Um, and with the planks, they run six inches wide, 40 inches long. As, and I cut them to where I had minimal waste. So this next piece should be roughly around eight inches long. So, butt up against the wall. Actually, we're going to come to the end of the board here. And up against the wall is actually it's about eight, it is eight inches. So, down there we have a bigger gap, but since we cut it, so close to the vent you're not going to have much float and since it's a floating floor that's why they had these spacers here so it allows your floor to float the vent kind of screws that up a little bit unless you give it some like breathing room but i wanted a nice like clean cut against the vent so i just butt up against there so there's no room to go that way but we can cut this at eight and we have plenty of floating room this off because we're going to eliminate this piece so this slides into that section there. Don't forget your tool. To 
cut these with a little bit of a razor blade. They're pretty easy to snap off, so you should be able to kind of, there we go. Boom, snap it into place. Peel this boy out. We're doing DIYs, dude. <laughs> I was like, who are you talking yeah. about? Yeah. Um, where's my razor blade at? Check this out. I'm teaching people how, oh shit, that's really bad. <laughs> It's a really bad cut. <laughs> it's crooked. It's a little crooked. Shit. <laughs> Any excess, you just cut with a razor blade. Look at that. Okay, so... Very echoey in here. Cut that. Yeah, I know. It's probably terrible. Oh. Me. That's a nice cut. That's Kenny's kind of construction in full force. Now that we're we're past the the air vent, we can continue to just make our our pieces from the layout that I have here. So right now we're working on row 8 48 48 24. Next will be four pieces 16 48 48 8 and so on and so forth. Mallet that should line up. Cool. Done. 